Hello everyone and thank you for tuning back in today. Um, as previous, um, the topic is going to be on um, why I shouldn't get my tooth tied or um, get my uterus removed. Um, but I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you're ready to uh, respond back um, because this is to help um, any woman that is trying to uh, decide if she wants to get her tubes tied or go uh, along with, excuse me, go along with getting her uh, tubes tied and uterus removed. Um, my thing is from my experience with getting my tubes tied um, back in, I think in 2005, I got that done. And, um, my experience, I experienced um, my body being hot and cold, having hot flashes early, um, night sweats, um, having high blood pressure, and I never suffered with high blood pressure, um, anxiety, um, um, having um, bladder irritation. Um, constipation, um, also developing fibroids. Um, well, I'm not sure if that had anything to do with it because I had the fibroids before, so that come the fibroids come from some some foods that I was eating. So, but just to name a few things of what I've noticed since. Um, my tooth's been tied, um, being bloated, um, having that extra weight around the middle and having the muffin top at the top. I didn't have that until I got my uh, tubes tied. Um, being irritable. Um, so it's, it's just a lot of things that I've noticed, heavy, a heavy cycle. Um, my cycle would come on clock like clockwork on the 13th of every month. Um, so it, it's just a lot of things. I'm trying to think as I'm talking. I should have had um, made some notes, but I thought I just can think about it as I go. And that's what I'm doing. But um, you, it, and it also deal with you mentally too. Because you may not want to have children right then and there because you feel you have enough or whatever. But I wish I would have just used the diaphragm um, that wasn't introduced to me um, when I was thinking about it. My doctor was just go, just ready to go all in to give me the tubes tied in. To me, when you have someone like that that's not giving you another opportunity or uh, alternative to what you could do and stay clear from those kind of doctors um, because you're not an animal. Um, you shouldn't be neutered or anything because we're designed to produce. We're, we're designed to have a cycle. We're designed for the egg to come down and be fertilized by uh, semen. Um, and when that doesn't happen and the natural flora of that, your body can mimic that you could be pregnant um, so that's sometimes my, my body would, my, my, my nipples would get sore as if I'm, I'm, I'm pregnant. Um, sometimes I can have swelling and well, look like I'm about, I will go through the stages. I will go through the stages all the way to, I guess about six, a six months look. And then it will go down once I go through that phase in my mind that no, I'm not pregnant. Um, I would miss my cycle as well, so um, that too, um, you miss your cycle. Um, so those are, you know, just a, ment a lot of things that you go through once you get your tubes tied. And I don't recommend anyone to get their tubes tied because you're designed to produce, to have a cycle. So when you cut off that natural flow, your you can expect anything to happen. It's just like a tire. 
if a tire is rolling and you throw a wrench or something in it, it's just you know you never know which way that vehicle is gonna go from you throwing that wrench in it. So that to me, that's just analogy of you never know how your body is gonna react once you get your tubes tied. Some people say they don't have any side effects, but for me, um, in talking to other women, um, our some are, most of our side effects are the same. Um, to to be told that it's gonna it's you know that's something that you you know that's an alternative, and it's not. Um, that's just a quick way for it to me. It's almost like if um, you know how some people, even I myself, you know, especially if you see a stray dog or something and you don't want to see it in your neighborhood messing up your yard or whatnot. And to me, that's the same that they do with you when they say, oh, getting your tooth will be the best thing. When there's condoms, there's phones, there's teas, there's a diaphragm. Um, I don't recommend anyone get it on a birth control as well because the birth control to me has helped the the hormones in your body to get all out of whack as well. That's just me. I'm not a doctor. I haven't studied that, but just paying attention to my body, how my body reacted. You can you can grow facial hairs, uh, you get you can gain weight, um, you can not um uh, have an appetite sometimes. Um, it's a lot of things when you take in birth control. So, um, that's just me on why you shouldn't get your tubes tied. Um, you, you, you know, just having a heavy cycle. And I never had a heavy cycle until I, um, got my tubes tied. And after I got my tubes tied, that was the worst thing I could do to myself. Like I said, to me, the, their alternative of getting your tubes tied is to me, it's just like neutering a dog or a cat to me. And if someone would say that that's a okay thing for you to do or to have, then I don't think they're out for your best interest because, um, I mean, I would personally ask my doctor, did you get your tubes tied and what were your side effects? And I would like for you to be honest with me because of blah 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 and some of them they will be honest with you and some of them won't but please do not get your tubes tied whatsoever if you can you you have a doctor that will give you an order or whatever to get your diaphragm that's the way to go condoms the foam or the herbs um not um, a family of mine's had the, I think it's UI, whatever the thing that just sticks up into the uterus, it moved. She had to have, she wanted more children. She had two children. She wanted to have more children, um, but just not right then and there. And the thing moved, traveled, and it caused her to start hemorrhaging. And she had to have a complete hysterectomy. So I don't recommend these uh, birth control. Um, I'm going to be looking in, in my book of the herbs that you can drink. Now, with anything, you, you should know that the herb is not going to take uh, within then, like like that. It, I say a good 30 days. So within those 30 days, once I bring those herbs to you or just talk to you about it, you should use all preventative measures, condoms, you know, to not get pregnant until uh, at least 30 to 60 days. Um, and if your husband can't, or boyfriend can't understand that, then you just have to stress them, then we're going to get pregnant. So, um,. That's just my take on it. Um, how it just made, just turned my life around, just being moody, um, anxiety, um, 
because the body is not naturally flowing. It's like you you blocked off something, so that hormone has to go somewhere and start acting up in the body some kind of way. To me, that's just me. Um, so I don't recommend anybody to uh, get um, any birth control. Um, I'm not telling you not to get your birth control, not to take your birth control, but the article that I read, it develops fibroids. I don't know what's in it, but it does. And it also sterilizes you. So if you wanted to have children later on in life, the article said that the birth controls are designed to make you sterile, not to help you where um, you will be able to have children later. It will be very difficult once you um, get off the birth controls, from my understanding of the articles that I read. Um, and I only been on birth control for, um, I was on the, uh, the pill um, for about three or four years, and then I got off it because I just... I didn't want to be in a relationship around that time. And then after I was about to graduate, I had, uh, I think I was either on the depo shot. Yeah, I was on the shot and I got pregnant anyway. Um, I was on, the, I think I was on the pill. Yes, I was on the pill. And I had... Uh, taken, I was, I had the flu, and um, I was given antibiotics. My doctor didn't inform me that you can't be into me, and I was just about done with the antibiotics, and um, I wasn't trying to get pregnant, but it happened, um, and I got pregnant. Uh, so just to know when you're on any antibiotics and you're having sex and you're thinking that your birth control is going to be at its full effect it's not it, it weakens it so never have sex while you're on any kind of antibiotic because it's going to weaken it and it's not going to be effective um so those are some things that i have heard talk to other women about and um, watch my mom go through um, mental um, things once she um, had her uh, had her tubes tied, and then after that she had the um, hysterectomy. Uh, watching her go through all that, the changing of her hormones and different things like that. So. I don't recommend it at all, but if that's what you choose to do, that was just my take on birth control, tying the tubes, and the hysterectomy. Um, hysterectomy, um, just listening to some men talk that you don't, uh, they don't feel your walls, the warmth, um, and as listening to women, you have to take these hormones just to feel whole, mentally sane. Um, so I don't, I wouldn't recommend no one have to. And then you're already going to be going through mentally feeling like you're not a woman, period, because you're no longer having a period. And then when you want to be intimate, you're not going to feel like a woman or anything. Um, so that's just my take on that, listening and watching my mom uh, when she went through it. Um, and also, it just it changes the whole body. You start, instead of you can have the hourglass, but once you get that surgery, look like you, you automatically, it just changes the body. It's like you, you get big around the waist and you lose your butt. I just... Everybody that I seen have it, the hysterectomy, they, they body begin to change. Some don't and some do, um, but majority of the ones that I've heard and saw 
um, their bodies start changing. It, whether it's in the weight or the way they a female a female starts to think. Um, so, but what? How did you feel once you got your tubes tied? Did you feel dry? Um, did your partner or your husband feel that you can satisfy them anymore? Um, and how did you feel once you got your tube tied? Um, did you notice your cycle change? Did you notice the hot flashes, uh, the night sweats, um, the constipation, the, the bladder irritations, um, the irritation at the, the, the stitcher's site? Um, what did you notice when you got these surgeries, even with being on birth control? What did you notice? Um, so, and that's just my take on that. I'll be talking of coming back again. Um, I still have to do the suppositories. I know I hadn't forgot. Um, just getting ready for my son's um, graduation this weekend. So please forgive me for you guys not getting a video and it's storming uh, well it's not storming yet it's just cloudy outside um, but we're getting rain all this week until next Tuesday so say so far um, but I, I would like to know um, what was your experience with getting your tubes tied as well as um, having your uterus removed um, please feel free to comment like and share and make sure you hit that subscribe button until next time be blessed